was the fortunate one. Mary didn't need a bit of help. Um, I got to tell you, I wasn't sure what I'd gotten myself into. And she walked into my house, and my animals all fell in love with this extremely competent, tough, strong woman whose strongest weapon of all is compassion. Um, this poem is for her. It's called Evidence to the Contrary. Sure, I said, I'll write poems with a cop, hang out, make friends. No problem. Don't hurt me. <laughs> My cats, never wrong about what counts, crowded you, jostling each other to claim mine, mine, mine. My little bird kept interrupting our talk, flirty and whistling, chirping out a mashup of TV themes, puffing out his chest. You laughed, and my little bird threw back his yellow head and sang. Hello, my name is John Cuniff. Uh, I work with Jefferson on this project. It was um, a little difficult at times. I, I, I was away out of town for a couple weeks at a training, so most of our work was done over the phone. Uh, but he really didn't give himself much uh, credit. There you go. He was, uh, thank you. He was, uh, he was actually very good at it whenever, I, whenever I got stuck in helping me uh, move in the right direction. So uh, the poem that I'm going to read is called Split Screen. The night was warm, and you had only the streetlights to guide your way through the chaos of that night. As you worked, I sat at home. As your adrenaline rose, I sat relaxed under my patio umbrella listening to the socks on my radio. As your life changed, I was pulling my dinner out of the bag I brought it home in. Then the call came. The car dragging you. You taking aim. My nerves rattled. Worry and disbelief came on like a bad storm. <laughs> 